Hello, everyone, uh, and welcome back to Taste of the Caribbean. Uh, give God thanks because this is the day that the Lord has made. Today, I'm going to uh, make for you an authentic Jamaican oxtail recipe. Uh, these are going to be the ingredients that are going to be used here. We're going to have oxtail marinade. We're going to have brown oil. We're going to have onion powder, Italian seasoning, uh, Jamaican, this is ground allspice oxtails, and this is uh, uh, grace oxtail seasoning, garlic powder, and then you're going to have some butter beans. All right, and we also have some chopped onions and uh, some garlic. All right, so let's get uh, started. So we're going to, you're going to first have this, uh, this oxtail here. Uh, make sure it is washed with lime or lemon vinegar and uh, that you also, you know, just make sure you clean it before anything, before you put the seasoning on. Uh, so we're going to add all these seasonings here. Uh, we're gonna have um, we're gonna first add one teaspoon of Maggie right here uh, this is gonna also be one teaspoon of Italian seasoning this is also gonna be the one teaspoon of ground allspice uh, this is actually um, half a teaspoon of uh, whole allspice but it was just crushed gonna add that. We're gonna add one teaspoon of onion powder. We're gonna add one teaspoon of oxtail seasoning. We're gonna add one teaspoon of garlic powder. One teaspoon of black pepper. Uh, so this is uh, some cloves. This is half, half of it, uh, just kind of crushed. We're gonna add that. All right, and, uh, and let's see here. We're gonna add this garlic, four pieces that's fresh. Gonna add a whole onion. Okay, gonna mix all of that in. Um, there is also this other one here. We're gonna also add um, This is uh, Grace all-purpose seasoning. Gonna add that. Uh, then we're gonna add the browning. Gonna add. Uh, gonna add two, two of these right here. Two of these uh, teaspoons of uh, browning. Gonna add just another half. And let's put it out there. This is really gonna give that oxtail that um, that color. Okay, this is another one right here. Okay, this, uh, you get this, okay, uh, and then also I'm going to add some uh, oxtail marinade. Now this uh, oxtail marinade this is about two, this is one tablespoon right there. About two, two tablespoons, which is equivalent to four teaspoons, and that's it. All right, I'm going to, um, just going to let all of this, just blend all of this in, mix it all in, right? and then have this all. Are we going to cut up um, a habanero pepper, half of that, and we're going to add this to it. And um, that's it. Marinate it for 24 hours, and then we can get started. And we'll continue. Um, after 24 hours that is marinated, we're going to start cooking this thing. We'll see what it comes out. Okay, we're back. Uh, oxtail has marinated for 24 hours in the fridge. Now what we're going to do, we added um, about a good cup and a half of canola oil to this, to this pan. And it's been heating up for a few minutes now. Uh, give it about a good five, about 10 minutes on the medium high fire. We're going to actually sear each piece of oxtail and after we sear each piece of oxtail, then we're gonna get to the next step. So I'm gonna show you what it's going to sound like when you sear the oxtail. We're gonna put this in the oil. You're gonna hear it sizzle. See? Yes. And we're just gonna sear each piece.
Now it's important that you have the fire on medium, medium to high heat because the more of these that you actually put in the pot is going to start reducing the temperature of the oil. So you want to make sure that the fire is not very all the way turned up but at least medium high. Because the more hot soil pieces you put in the pot, it's going to reduce the temperature of the oil and it's going to stop the frying process. I'm just going to put another piece in here. See? I'm kind of slowed down already. I'm going to drop a few more pieces in here. Alright, make sure you can really see this. See how everything is fine here. And when, I'm, when it's done, uh, I'm going to show you what it all looks like. So this, is what it looks, this is what it looks like after everything has been braised. Uh, the oxo will look just like this, right? But it's not done yet. So we're going to have to continue uh, the cooking process. I'm going to just drop it in the oil. I'm going to turn fire on. Uh, everything is just going to cook down. We're going to let this cook down with... Um, just going to let everything cook down right here. What we're going to do now is we're going to add uh, two cups of water. Let's add two cups of water. So this is uh, what it looks like. We're going to put two cups of hot water, boiling hot water. And we hear it steam. I'm going to put it on like medium fire right here. But two cups of hot water. It's going to steam. It's going to cook down. Um, and what we're going to do is gonna, we're going to let this reduce. Once it reduces, we're going to kind of like uh, continue to raise it some more. We're going to add two more cups of uh, hot water and then raise it again. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This is what the oxtail looks like after two cups of water has been added. And we have about, we had about um, 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes that has gone by about, I'd say 13. Um, so as you can see, it's still boiling down. We're going to continue to let it boil down. Just gonna move it around just a little bit. All right, and we're just gonna continue to let it boil down. We want this water to almost um, disappear, so to speak. We're gonna get this into a frying process again. Are we gonna braise it again and then we're gonna add two more cups of water? Then uh, we'll continue. You want to make sure you are moving this hot scale around, around in the pot. See? So it looks just like this. See how it has a kind of like a golden brown color. It's like it's almost shining. So you want to make sure you're moving this around in the pot, especially using a metal spoon because uh, with this process, it has a tendency to really stick to the bottom but yeah, uh, make sure you have that metal spoon and you're moving it around, all right? There you go. This right here, we're gonna let this thing continue to cook some more. We want this liquid to almost uh, disappear and, and let, it, um, let it have like a frying process. So let's just continue. Okay, this water is this oil is just almost about disappearing, so I'm just going to add another two cups. And we're going to let that cook for another, going to mix this around. Going to let this cook. Let this cook for another 30 minutes. 
Okay, so this is the final step. As you can see, the water is just, uh, just about the thing, but you can actually get a chance to uh, kind of zoom in, just, and then you can, you know, you can see what it looks like right here. All right, so I'm gonna add the uh, seasoning. This is the marinade that the oxtail was resting in the fridge. Um, then I'm going to um, also gonna add some chicken broth here. All right, I'm gonna add two cups of water. Um, I'm gonna add one cup about a cup chicken broth then I'm gonna add one cup of beef broth give me a second this is beef broth okay this is a cup of beef broth all right now I'm also gonna equivalent to about uh, four tablespoons of butter. Right. Okay. I want to make sure that this has enough sauce. So um, what I'm going to do is I am going to add another cup, one more cup of chicken broth here. All right. And this is just to make sure that this is going to have enough sauce because this has to cook down under high fire. Um, all right, so that is, and this is going to definitely be the last. You want everything, you want all of this to make sure that it's submerged in some kind of sauce. I'm gonna actually kind of make sure I turn this up as well. All right, so I added a habanero pepper. I'm also gonna add uh, a one teaspoon of Maggi. I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna add another teaspoon of Maggi. So it's gonna actually end up being two teaspoons of Maggi. So that would be two teaspoons of that. I definitely want to make sure that, you know, whatever, how much salt you put, you salt it to taste. Keep tasting it. Um, in the final stage, just about 10 minutes before it's done, I'll add 10 to 15 minutes, I'll add uh, butter beans. We're, we're going to be complete with this. All right, uh, so we're going to have to let this cook down with a pot covered for 30 minutes. So after 30 minutes, um, for that, I actually, within 15 minutes, I put the butter beans, so you can see the butter beans in here. Uh, and this oxtail is still cooking, it was cooking, it was cooking on the high fire, but it is just about done. Uh, you can see the meat is really, really tender. Um, and I'm gonna say, it's almost at that point where it's actually, I'm sorry, it's almost at that point where some of them are, Still not as tender. Some are, some are not. And I'm gonna still let, let it cook down for some more, some more time, and then maybe about another five minutes, and should be done. So after 30 minutes, uh, this is what the oxtail looks like. Right, it is done. I'm gonna share it out so you can actually see everything. I I just, um, I just not too long turned this turned off the stove, so. Like we're gonna, I'm just going to show you what it looks like on a plate. Uh, this thing is falling off the bone. The sauce is really good. Uh, and you're going to see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. This is the oxtail with the rice and peas and plantain. It's really, really delicious. The oxtail is uh, falling off of the bone. I, I know you're going to enjoy this one. Don't forget, to, don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe. And also turn on the post notification for new updates. Enjoy.